YouTube, Michael Shepard Jordan here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am back at Rocky Falls to hike to Klepsig Mill. Because uh, the last time I was here back in January, it was cold and it was too cold for me to cross Rocky Creek. But I am prepared today. It's warmer. I feel like it shouldn't be too bad of a creek crossing. So I'm excited to get to the mills. Uh, Rocky Falls to Klepsig Mills is a six mile out and back hike. It's about three miles there, three miles back, which should be nice. Part of it is on the Ozark Trail, which is cool. I always like to get on the Ozark Trail when I can for a little bit. And yeah, I'm just starting off. Really beautiful morning. It's a Saturday. I don't typically hike on Saturdays because there's a lot of people out here. Um, I get embarrassed filming these when people are around, but whatever. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're watching. Uh, thank you so much. So this hike is about a two and a half hour drive from where I am in St. Louis. Uh, it's basically down by like Poplar Bluff, Missouri, which is pretty much on the Arkansas border. So it's a hike uh, to get to the hike, but we're down here. It's gorgeous. It's going to be a perfect day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button below. And yeah, let's go on a hike, y'all. So we're half a mile in, and this is where I got stuck last time. Uh, the water was a little bit higher, which was surprising. There was also a bunch of ice everywhere. And this is where I stopped. Uh, the main reason is because it was like three degrees outside and I didn't want to get wet and keep hiking by myself. But it's about a 30 yard span across here. Um, it's not high right now. I'm just going to kind of make my way across it. Uh, but you do have to cross Rocky Creek right here within the first half mile. So let's get across it. Yeah, hey. All right, it's cold, but rather refreshing, honestly. <laughs> mm. Okay, not too bad. Well, that was not as simple as it looked. Uh, you're crossing Highway NN right here, and it's about 0.1 miles from where it comes out uh, up the road. Um, you go kind of across the creek, keep walking up, <clears throat> and it'll be on your left.
Well, right behind me is Klepzig Mill. It was built by a man named Walter Klepzig in 1928. And I'm actually sitting on what used to be uh, an old dam that helped power the mill. They kind of funneled the water through those little concrete channels into the mill right there. And I'm assuming uh, the ruins and foundations were probably a, a home. Uh, this mill ended up powering the small little community around here and it's, uh, it's pretty beautiful. I mean, it's right here situated in this little shut-ins on Rocky Creek uh, with all this rhyolite around because it is Missouri and it's just really, really lovely. All right, let's talk about the trail from Rocky Falls to Klepsig Mill. Well, I thought it was pretty amazing. Uh, there was a lot of cool points of interest along the way. I'm really glad that I was able to complete it. I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't get to see all this when it was covered in snow, because I think it would have been beautiful. But, say la vie, it's gorgeous today, so today was the day I was supposed to be here. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed those open fields that you got to cross. Uh, I don't know if that's private land or not, but if it is private land, I just want to give a little bit of love to the landowners uh, for allowing their land to be part of the Ozark Trail. I think it's a really special thing that Missouri's got, and I just want to give you a, a shout out for that. And then, yeah, that first shut-ins we got to on Rocky Creek right after crossing Highway NN. What a wonderful surprise. I mean, that's amazing. And then you've got this shut-ins here. You've got two shut-ins on this, a giant waterfall, some beautiful fields to walk through, and then just like really pleasant trail throughout, which is nice. I mean, it's not too hilly. It's relatively flat. It's well marked. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty solid trail. And then you kind of end at this point, which is pretty great. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button below, and I will see you at the next Missouri Hike.